Yeah, so schizophrenia. I'm born schizophrenic. Who are you? <laughs> I mean, it's strange because if you're above a certain age, if you're above, if you're above like 40 or 50 or in your 60s, and you have experience with schizophrenia, either you know, either you have it yourself or you're very close to someone who has schizophrenia. You might be aware that schizophrenia is what it really is. The old, if you might say, definition of it. Because the old definition of schizophrenia is that it's multiple personality. There are several personalities, like two or three personalities, that are then acting out at the same time. There are two or three personalities that are fighting within the mind and the head to be the leading character, to be genuinely the, the I person. One more time. The old and real definition of schizophrenia, which is as follows. I mean, this can, I mean, everybody experiences it differently, but this is like if you undress the, the term and diagnosis of schizophrenia, it goes as follows. Two or three personalities are active at once in the head, mind, having a war between each other, two or three personalities, to be the, the, one, the one personality, to be genuinely the I person, physicality, control, and so on. That is the core definition of schizophrenia. Now, why don't we hear this? Why are we not told this? Well, to me, it seems like doctors today are more busy with the, with the, with the symptoms, the surface layer, the symptoms, what is almost visible on the on in the human experience, what you can see, what you can what you can sort of experience more on the surface layer of the mind and the conscious and so on. So it seems doctors today and, and for quite some time now actually have been more giving up on the patient because there's no background information given to the patient. The patient is not told about personalities, about how personalities work, their design, and so on and so forth, into depth and consideration. So, it seems that doctors today are more interested in explaining and talking about and medicating symptoms rather than going deep and understanding and considering the background core definition of schizophrenia, which I've already explained a couple of times. And that is a crying shame because look at me, I am schizophrenic. I am born schizophrenic. I am born with schizophrenia. Today I have a, I, I have lived with Lots of voice hallucinations and other vis visual hallucinations and... I lived in a gutter for many years, to put it gently. I lived very much in the gutter, to put it gently, for many years. Suffering as a schizophrenic. So it seems that today doctors and healthcare officials and so on and so on say that schizophrenia doesn't exist just because they can't see or don't dare to touch in on the very core definition, the fundament of the diagnosis of the illness. They just discard it and say that's just old stuff or it doesn't exist or they just suppress it and deny it. And just look at the voices, what the voices are, how they are experienced, how they are seen, how the voices make, what, make the schizophrenic patient act out. 
hallucinations, the whatever functions or dysfunctions about this individual. Basically, is the patient capable of consuming? So I'm here, a voice against the flow, you might say, or a flow against the whatever. I'm here to say that it is possible to deal with one's schizophrenia. It's possible to have a better life than what most schizophrenic people go through in their living. It doesn't have to be all pain, all voices, all torture all the time. It doesn't have to be all thoughts, all hallucinations, all fuck in the head all the fucking time. It doesn't have to be that. We can do very much with ourselves as self-communication. As if I develop self-communication, writing, I can write my way to freedom. I can forgive myself for all the layers of emotions and personalities and memories and so on and so on and so on. I can forgive myself for having accepted and allowed myself to live in this and this and this pattern with these energies, with this personality, with this whateverness and forgive it and stop living only in the mind like a scale little whatever in the mind and find stability and comfort and honesty and, 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 and decency, responsibility and trust with breath, with physicality, with myself as integrated human being, not lost, not always, I mean, I mean <laughs> not always lost in mind, in mind thoughts, imagination, hallucinations, thinking, personalities, fears, emotions, all that drama. You know, the saying goes, uh, it was thinking outside the box, but the thinking is the box. And the voice is just a thought that just cranked up massive volume. And the thought, I'm uh, sorry, the, a voice is just another thought cranked up uh, volume very loudly and you know the content is what we make it really if you boil it down we are very much responsible 100% actually or for our own creation so if we attach value to our voices then we fuel our voices if we attach emotional or whatever value to our voices we fuel our voices ourselves. Schizophrenia is basically with your Foucault. Hey Foucault, I'm picking your nose. Woo! <laughs> so uh, schizophrenia is basically when you have two or three personalities acting out at once, being then programmed and designed to have a war in the head among these two or three personalities. And then you experience hallucinations, pain, and noise, disturbances of speech, unfocused, un very chaotic, because you have two or three personalities that are having a fucking war in your head, in your mind, and experience all this bother, all this pain, all these addictions and all that stuff with schizophrenia because the personality uh, system is fucking itself up the ass. Or what do you, how do you call that? If you have two or three personalities and they're having a war in your head. I mean... Uh, goes to show, doesn't it? So I'm born schizophrenic. Schizophrenia is a design. It's an illness. And I take it very seriously, to put it to be honest with you. I'm very serious about my schizophrenia. 
I want to learn and understand them, de deconstruct it, deconstruct myself, and patch myself together as the best organized being that I can be living and expose my schizophrenia, explain what the fuck I'm going through, what I see, what I hear, what I experience, how I, how I work through it, so that others can benefit from my sharing.